In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best bunch setups that came out of the Ultimate Kickoff Tournament. This setup is going to help you beat man coverage as well as zone coverage. It's also got some pretty decent concepts as well for any kind of pressure that you might be seeing, uh, depending on how your opponent is running his defense. So uh, this comes to us out of pretty much any bunch playbook can do this, but it's really best out of either Pittsburgh or Washington. Um, and we actually have a Pittsburgh bunch offensive ebook if you want to check it out. Be sure to join our Patreon. Uh, you can kind of add this little play into a lot of what we were already doing out of that playbook and it's really more conceptual you could do this out of a lot of different things uh, but we're going to use the play deep corner as I think it's the most the, the most equipped play uh, to run this concept from so uh, the play is deep corner and there's a couple different ways that we can run this setup but basically the the core concept of this is we want to have an outside apprentice receiver because we know that the C route is one of the most effective routes in the game this year You'll see at beating man-to-man -man coverage, just right when he comes outside, we're just gonna pass lead it you know, to the outside. A lot of times he will actually be a little bit more effective than what you're seeing here uh, on that C route. The other thing that you have in this play is you have that little post that's gonna come over the middle of the field. So the way that you can set this up, a couple different ways, but really I think the most effective way is to block your running back because we know that in this year's game, you need to be able to have the ability to pick up pressure. So we're gonna block our running back. This allows us to set up any six man protection scheme that we want. For example, we could slide protect to the right, we could ID to the left, um, you know, and do something like that. Then what we wanna do is we wanna streak our slot receiver, we wanna C route our solo receiver, and then we're going to, um, this is also an outside print. Technically it's called the corner route, but uh, everybody just calls it a C route because it looks like a C. And then we're gonna motion our tight end across on a drag route. Now you can, if you want to, you can leave the tight end where he's at or you can motion him across. It's kind of up to you. Um, the, if you if you leave him on this, the, beauty, the benefit of motioning him across um, here is just simply that he will, you know, be able to be motion hike. You can even put him on a slant, you know, do something like this. Um, but what you'll see here is you have that route, you have that route, and then you have this post coming over the middle of the field that is a really good zone and man-to-man -man beater, okay? So that is really the, the benefit, I think, of this play. And again, most people are going to be, you know, running kind of a cover zero style of defense. And when they run a cover zero style, you'll see here that this is wide open on the outside, so a really nice little C route. Um, you know, as you can see, it just kind of works the man-to-man -man meta pretty well. And then you're just basically having this little underneath route. If you have a short inability on the tight end or just something to kind of get this open, you know, this little baby in route, you could put him on a slant and motion him across, uh, do something like this. You can motion block him if you want to uh, and run a three-man route combination, but you also have this post, and a lot of times they will kind of naturally rub and this post will get open a lot more than you would think. Um, now, if you have, um, you know, the the Washington playbook, you can do this out of mesh posts. It's a little sharper cutting post route, um, you know, that will get pretty decent separation. Another thing that you can do with this play is you can also kind of mix up who you put on this underneath route. So you could take the running back and put him on like an option route, and then you could motion hike um, this tight end so that he blocks now, and now you have your running back trying to beat that man-to-man -man coverage underneath. And this play also affords you a lot of options, specifically against some of the main zone coverages a lot of people will do, especially if they're trying to stop the C route on the left side, you'll get a lot of this cover three coverage. That's kind of the main, um, that's kind of the main, the main thing people are gonna do is they go to some kind of cover three. So a lot of times what you'll see with this is, you know, your, your, um, your C route's gonna get covered, but now you see how open this post is over the middle um, against that cover three. And then of course, like I said, you have the, the check down always to be like that little tight end route. So it's really good against cover, uh, cover three. It's also pretty decent um, against cover two, even if they put the middle linebacker into the uh, middle third, you'll see right here that this C route, um, again, is gonna kind of clear the zones. You can actually hit this C route late, or not late, but um, if it's a cover two coverage, I think I accidentally had um, a improper play here. But uh, anyways, you'll see that the C route can also afford you some opportunities against zones, specifically with cover two. So you'll see here, pass lead up and away and you see how you can kind of fit that in of course my free form and skills with with Herbert and regs is a little bit 
lacking. Um, it's a little bit easier, in my opinion, to freeform with either Michael Vick or with uh, Rogers and Mutt. Uh, but you'll see here. Let me just try to not pass lead it so that it doesn't. There you see. See how that's kind of on the sideline. So you can kind of fit that in a little window. And then, like I also said, you have your tight end coming across underneath, and your tight end is going to be open a lot. Uh, in this play and then if you hit this post route right on the cut um, It's a little bit different way to throw posts this year But basically you're gonna see here it kind of clears the zones He's gonna come right underneath it and you see how open this really is So this is one of the main concepts that a lot of the pros were using um, In Madden uh, or in the ultimate kickoff tournament And I think this is something you can add into really any offense But especially the bunch offense of course if you guys want to learn my entire bunch offensive ebook Make sure you get in our Patreon. It's only ten dollars to sign up. It gets you access to all of the ebooks, all the material over there, as well as all the updates for that. And uh, we're also dropping a brand new defense this week over there. So we're going to make ten ebooks that will make our tenth offensive and defensive ebook. Uh, I think in the first month of the game. So really excited about that. Make sure you get in the Patreon if you want to get access to all that material. The link is down in the description. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.